Hi everyone, my name is Muhammad Umar and I'm going to be demonstrating the SOM Analytics dashboard. Starting off with the home page. The first page that we are going to be demonstrating is the interaction one. As you can see on load of the page, all of the interactions for our default problem get loaded. This is basically for the sake of easiness and it's for the problem how did Arthur and die. Let me narrow it down. One can search the problem in this predictive search input tab. These interactions can be narrowed down to team level. Let's say that for the problem how did Arthur and die, we narrow it down to the team Morenia 2. And then we can see that will be 374 was the one was the person who was pinged most of the time you can also notice the incoming and outgoing pings with the mark of the arrow heads graph can be arranged to suit the needs of the user next let us demonstrate the page of problem ratings at this page similarly one can search for the problem click on the problem on the x-axis the names of the teams get populated on the y-axis you can see the rating you can also hover on each of the teams to see their ratings so for example Morenia 2 here got an external score of 83.34 percent whereas an internal score of 64.08 percent internal score is the one that that was rated by the team itself whereas external score was rated by external professionals you can also notice that Bogong 1 was internally rated as 90.5% and externally as 64.59%, which is quite the opposite case. Next, let's check the sentiment for a particular problem. Similarly, one can search for the problem and the sentiment for that problem will get populated. On the x-axis, you can notice the dates. On the y-axis are the number of comments. So for example, you can see here that on how did Arthur Allen die, 24th, on 24th, the total number of comments were 43. One can also check the sentiments. That is the total number of positive comments were 26, negative comments were 11, and neutral were 6. Now let's say if someone wants to compare just positive and negative sentiments. The legend can be selected or unselected to make sure only the relevant line remains. This in fact can also be narrowed down to team level. Let's say I want to check the team Morinia 2's activity. Similarly, let's check Bogong 1's activity. Let us dig deep into the users over here one can search for the users for example if i search for bulby 374 i can see his contribution over different problems so in say for example how did arthur allen die he came up with 10 hypotheses 15 comments totaling up to a number of 25 posts you can also see that after the colon the team that this guy was assigned on in Morenia 2 in, in How Did Arthur and Die has been specified. Similarly, his other contributions in other problems can be noted. One can also go much deeper into a user. So if we check the page of user details, we can type in the user's name and then we can select the problem that we are interested in. This will tell the distribution of comments, description, and a hypothesis. For example, he came up with 15 comments, 10 hypotheses, and zero description. So the description graph is pie chart distribution is showing no description. Similarly, the distribution for his sentiments can be noted. 
and also the distribution for his incoming and outgoing pings can be noted. It must be noted that he has an incoming pings of 5 whereas he tagged only one person. His activity over the timeline can also be determined from this line chart graph similar to what we noticed in problem sentiment. Only this time it's narrowed down to the user and problem level. Now let's say if someone wants to see an entire comparison of everything from a top-down analysis. This has also been discussed in the report as well. Now for the sake of easiness, the problem how did Arthur Allen die has been loaded on each page. So let's say, for example, as we noticed previously as well, that Morinia 2 was rated 83.34% externally. If we click on this team, its graph, interaction graph gets populated in the team A, in team interaction A. If we click on another team, let's say Bogong 1, their interaction graph will be populated into the next tab. Now for problem, how did Arthur Allen die? These two performs, perform, these two teams perform In a, in a pattern that can be observed right by scrolling down. So one can also notice the team's activity over the timeline. Now let's say if someone wants to dig into a particular user, let's say Bobby 374 by just scrolling down on this page, one can write the name of the user, Bobby 3 and his contribution over other problems will be loaded let's say I want to compare this user's post distribution among two different problems so I can click over here let's say how did Arthur Allen die and his comments description and hypothesis, and hypothesis distribution will be populated on the right hand side I can let's say click on Coliscon problem and his contributions in that problem will be displayed. So similarly one can check his sentiment distribution, the number of tags this guy made and his activity over the timeline. It must be noticed that all of these pages are completely configurable and filterable. So for example, if I go over here and search for how did Arthur Allen die, Team Morinia 2, and let's say if I want to check how did this particular team performed in drug interdiction search for the team and I can see the interaction pattern in the same way you can select another problem with different interaction graphs and continue with the analysis so this is pretty much the demonstration of the entire analytics dashboard one can manipulate these filters to come up with many other useful insights as per the required specifications. Thank you very much.